All right, so here we are, back in Jake, 2009 Wrangler JKU with 3.8, and we got a cracked exhaust manifold. Right there. So, we've already got the uh, heat shielding off. That was this front bolt over here, and the bolt that's back there missing right on the top there. 10 millimeter bolt and right down here you can see a small tab and there's supposed to be a screw that comes through there which is this right here and that's an 11 millimeter so all you have to do is take those two bolts out that nut off and then the heat shielding will come off into pieces which that's what this is you got one bolt here one bolt here and then there's a nut on here that attaches to this which is all you need to do to take the heat shielding off of the manifold all right so next step is removing the two spark plug wires right here this one and this one all right so you got your spark plugs wires out of the way and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go underneath and i'm going to remove this exhaust bolt and this exhaust bolt so that the exhaust pipe is not attached to the manifold then it's just as simple as removing these bolts here 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 and one down there in the corner which is probably going to be the hardest one to get to so it's literally it's eight bolts and a nut to take the exhaust manifold off that's it it's simple it's a very simple and easy job let's get started all right so you got these little tabs right here that are supposed to be pushed in and they hold this nut they capture the nut so it doesn't turn when you're trying to take the bolts out well these obviously are turning so I got a 15 inch or 15 millimeter wrench to hold the nut and I was able to do all that from up here so I didn't have to go underneath the Jeep it's pretty simple I mean there's just not much room in here to do it. So take your time. Don't drop your ratchet. And you should be fine. Easy day. That's one. I'll fast forward this. You guys don't need to watch me drop my ratchet and drop my wrench and drop my bolt and nuts and everything else. Alright, for this one I am going to go down underneath with a long extension. And reach up and get it. The shielding is in the way, and I can't just can't get a good angle on it. And then get it perfect from down here. And I'm pretty sure that the bolt is the nut is turning, so get yourself a pair of vice grips since. I don't have a 
mechanic assistant. Just don't leave the vice grips attached like I did before, huh? Gavin. And go wheeling and forget them and find them after you drove to Pennsylvania. Well, that was fun. Sometimes it just takes a little longer than you think. It goes a long way. So that's both of those off. So kind of both off. No trouble. This one right here, pretty much easier to get it from below. This one. There's a pipe in the way, so it's most likely easier just to get it the way I got it from the top. So, but you choose. You want to get it from below too? That's up to you. All right, on to taking the manifold bolts off. sure what the torque on these are but I'll look it up and make sure I add it to the instructions oh yeah I haven't had the privilege of removing one off of the 3.6 yet but I can't believe that it would be too much more difficult than this. There's a lot more crap on that motor. So this back one here is going to be the fun one, I'm sure. Just got to squeeze it in there. That's it. It wasn't so bad actually, I thought that was, I mean, if that's going to be the worst one, that shows you right there how easy it is. Should just that's it. Come right out. There you have it. See a little bit of touching up. Got plenty of plenty of bolt right there to pull that out of. Maybe that's why. Look at that. <laughs> that's why. Because it's finger tight. See? Sometimes things just work out. So, all good. I see the little wire brush and wire brush that off. Alright, so putting it back together. Since so I got my broken bolt out, cleaned off the manifold areas where the manifold gasket's gonna go. Now we just gotta feed this thing back down in there. And 
not mess up the gasket and start the bolts. All kinds of stuff going on this time. But also don't want to bash the camera either. So alright. We also need <clears throat> an inch pound torque wrench. These bolts have to be torqued to 200 inch pounds. So, and it's just like a jigsaw puzzle. Let's so get one started. Now we can manipulate the rest. All right. So I got a couple of them started. So now we can get the rest of them on there. Like I said before, these get torqued to 200 inch pounds in an alternating pattern always, so you don't want to tighten down one area more than the other because then you're gonna crack your flange on your brand new exhaust manifold. You don't want to do that. So let's get all these in there snug, hand tight. And then go through and tighten them up the rest of the way. I'll get the pattern. I saw a couple of different patterns. But I haven't been able to find one specifically for the 3.8 yet. Okay, so now that we've got four, the four bolts, one, two, three, four, one back here, in and torqued down, now we can put the shielding on and put the other two bolts in and torque them down. Because you can't really do anything, well you can, but... good all back to where it's supposed to be shielding is on it's all torqued down good to go all right so now you've got that lower shielding which is an 11 millimeter nut so you gotta put that on was in this stud right down here.
finger tight and then put your ratchet on it and snug it down. All good. Then we'll go down and we'll put the uh, two exhaust manifold to pipe bolts in and we'll be done. Now I've got the forward one in. I'm just working on the this back one. Wait for that wrench to fall, which will be the next thing that happens. is going to be good enough because what happens is you tighten one side up and the other side gets tighter so if this side's at 30 foot pounds the other side's most likely at at least 30 foot pounds there you have it that is your exhaust manifold replaced together see how it sounds huh. that sounds pretty good no more tickety tick 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 no more loud noises like Fred Busman's Kirby. So there you have it. Left side, driver side, exhaust manifold replacement on a 2009 JKU. Great day, great afternoon, wherever you're at, whatever time you're listening to this. It's a Jeep world. Peace out.